The opioid crisis affects so many millions of people in the United States. A large amount of those people are parents. And what this does is displace the family unit, uh, making it necessary for children to um, ha have an alternative uh, home. In many cases, the family is not equipped to raise these children or not able to raise these children and they end up in foster care and with so many children ending up in foster care is very taxing um, on the system as well as the workers um, in the foster care unit this following video is going to cover a lot of that area and other concerns um, that this crisis is creating. Please stay tuned. All right, welcome back. The opioid crisis continues to grow and it now affects entire communities. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Fraser, outside of a place where many people turn to for help. Hi, Matt. Hey there. Uh, yeah, that's actually Christ Church. We're here in Fraser, and this is where uh, the third Tuesday of every single month, Families Against Narcotics actually meets here in Macomb County. They're growing throughout the state because of how big of a problem this is. And oftentimes, it's the people that you don't think of that are affected by pills. We're talking about the foster care system this morning. Oftentimes, when people are thrust into that spotlight, they're a little shocked. And she kept getting text messages coming through. Your prescription's ready for pickup. Your prescription's ready for pickup. And I thought, how is she getting all these prescriptions from all these different doctors? It's called pill shopping, and Angie Freeman was witnessing her grandchild's mother try it. Of course, it only got worse from there. Eventually, Angie got her own call. This one from CPS. Her grandkids had practically been abandoned. We were very shocked and weren't expecting that. That was nearly three years ago. Now Keegan and Kinsley are living with their grandparents. First as foster parents, now they're adoptive parents as Angie's son sits in jail. Another victim of opioids. That may actually be a best case scenario, but they aren't all. And nationally, foster care cases are spiking. Michigan changed its own system, but the state still adds, quote, we are seeing many children's protective services cases that involve opioid abuse by parents. Some of these children will likely lose one or both of their parents. So as the government tries to get a handle on the issue, cities even going as far as filing lawsuits stuck in the middle. This is part of my son that I lost. Are the families. And remember the Freemans that positive story, but it turns out they don't all end so well. The second son died from drugs. Now they're struggling to find a way to foster yet another grandchild. They're considering, you know, letting that foster family adopt her, which is really, really sad when we have licensed foster family members in our own family close by that we are very close with and we don't get to raise her. The Freeman story will continue with a court battle. I'll tell you more about that story on WXYZ.com. For now, uh, families against narcotics continue to grow in the state of Michigan as more and more people are affected by the opioid epidemic. We're live in Frazier this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Yeah, thanks, Matt. After viewing the video, tell me, what do you think? What do you think about the tax uh, foster care system? Share your views and thoughts in the comment section below.